When I look around Rio and I see the violence, and I see murders, and I see rapes, I see a city that's saying, can someone help me? Is there a better way? It's like Rio's crying out, help me. That's how I see it. The cities need the gospel. What makes me love Rio is just seeing the hurting people in the communities like this. Just seeing common people just trying to survive, just trying to pay the bills, just trying to put food on the table. And so when I look around here, I see that every person here is a creation of God. And that when Christ went to the cross, he went to the cross with these people too. To be a Christian uh, in a big city is tough. It's really hard to be a Christian here, in Rio especially. Everybody has the same value at the foot of the cross. It's hard because the, 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 the Christian people here in Brazil, and I think in other countries, don't want to do this kind of job. They want to go to go the streets at night to speak the, the, the Word of God, to preach the Word of God. They don't want, they want to stay in, the, in their big church, just watch a, a good sermon, all of that. When God says, when the Bible says, when Jesus says, go and make disciples, I believe that's what He wants us to do. Well, that's what I'm passionate about because I'm not going to let man stop me from sharing the gospel, no matter what the obstacles are. You see, the gospel got to get to these people as well as the people in America and around the world. And I don't find that Jesus said, if you got people with guns in front of you, don't share the gospel. I'm willing to risk it all. Seeming that he gave it all. I will not hold back into a comfort zone from my comfort level. Shorten the hand of Christ. Shorten the hand of God. When people are dying, going to hell, needing to know there's a way their life can be changed and changed radically, I will not do it. I just will not do it. No matter what goes on in life, and life happens, and life, life hurts. But the fact that Jesus died for my sins and rose again so that I can be with God and I can have a relationship with Him, you know, there's no sacrifice. There's really no sacrifice. We decided early on that we're going to stay until God takes us or tells us clearly to leave. Some of the biggest reward is when you see people's lives change. <laughs> That's what it makes it worth it. I mean, when you can see people go from being enslaved into prostitution to being free through the love of God, through the transformation grace that Jesus gives us, it makes it worth it. My greatest fear is that maybe one day I don't return home. That's my greatest fear. One day I go out to share and I don't come back. So that's my greatest fear. He's asking tough questions.